This is Dr. Bernstein again with Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to talk about covering low carbohydrate diets with insulin if you require insulin. And in my experience, about 90% of my patients require insulin, even though most of them are type 2 diabetics. Um, uh, I use many of the oral agents, but the, I use the oral agents for a variety of purposes other than uh, blood sugar reduction, simply because we cannot get great blood sugar reduction, by great I mean large blood sugar reduction, with many of the oral agents. Now, one big problem that people run into is how to cover dietary protein with insulin. Uh, there's a myth that has been perpetuated, and not by me, that you don't need insulin to cover the protein in your diet, but you do. You either have to make it or you have to inject it. And for most people, the, we, the kind of insulin we need to use is regular insulin or crystalline insulin, as it's called overseas, um, because the new analog insulins like Lyspro and Novolog and others uh, are, are too fast acting. They work faster than protein works and faster than complex carbohydrate works. So we like to use regular insulin to cover meals. And there are some guidelines that are approximate and work uh, more or less. You have to fine tune the insulin doses uh, according to guidelines in my book, Diabetes Solution. And um, I'll give you these rough guidelines one ounce of protein food will for most people, those who are not insulin resistant, require about one half unit of regular insulin per ounce of protein. And eight grams of carbohydrate usually require one unit of regular insulin. I, I use regular insulin myself for meals uh, very few of my patients use Umalog or Novolog. They do use Novolin R or Umulin R. There are some people who want to take their insulin uh, immediately before a meal because of um, uh, pressures of getting to work on time or getting to school on time, uh, etc. Or they may not know when they're going to eat and uh, uh, have to take a shot immediately before the meal because they didn't know they were going to have this meal at this time. Uh, there they might use Umalog or Novolog to speed things up. But Umalog and Novolog are much more potent than regular insulin and therefore you need but a fraction of the amount of insulin. For example, um, uh, Umalog is about um, two and a half times, at, no, uh, no, about two times, about twice as potent as regular. And Novolog is about 50% uh, more potent than regular. So you have to lower the doses of Umalog and Novolog to cover food versus the dose of regular. Sounds complicated. Reading my book might help, but uh, you have to be careful when you use the analog insulins. They tend to be much more potent than regular insulin, which is much easier to deal with. And if you're dealing with insulin for children, you're going to have to dilute it. 
to make it uh, uh, less potent. So we use diluting fluid and uh, either um, a compounding chemist can dilute insulin or you can do it yourself if you find the instructions in my book Diabetes Solution. And sometimes I have little kids taking insulin that's been diluted 15 to 1 or 10 to 1 so that uh, they're only 1 16th as potent as the original insulin. Very important. You can't give full strength insulin to little kids. And uh, that's it for today. Look at the instructions below for how to tune in on my free monthly uh, teleconferences. Good luck. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site askdrbernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so askdrbernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.